Now let's talk a little bit about data mart and data mesh. Now, so far I have talked about data pipeline. So what is data pipeline? You get data from various applications and then you store them into OLTP databases which are also called operational data stores. From there we use a process called ETL to load data to target systems which can be data warehousing or OLAP databases also. Now from there, from the OLAP databases, it goes to downstream applications like, like reporting, analytics, machine learning, etc. This entire flow is basically a data engineering pipeline. And in this pipeline, you have multiple components. We have source systems, OLTP systems, like SQL, NoSQL databases, or streaming ingestion, like Kafka, Kinesis, etc. Then we have processing layer using Apache Spark, AWS Glue, etc. And then we store it in data warehousing systems like Redshift or Data Lake like S3 or Lakehouse. And then the data is sent to downstream applications for consumptions. Now this entire pipeline or this in this entire life cycle, we have two more concepts embedded, which is called Data Mart and Data Mesh. Now these are not very complex terminologies but of course you should know what is the difference what is a data mart and what is a data mesh so that you can understand what technologies you can what AWS technologies you can use to implement data mart or data mesh. So first data mart what is data mart it is a subset of a data warehouse focused on a particular line of business or department or subject area. Now one important thing that you see here, it's a subset of a data warehouse. So when we say data mart, it is basically a subset of data warehouse. That's all you have to understand. Now why it's a subset? Because we create data warehouse for different line of business or different departments or different subject areas. So let's say we have finance department and this finance department have multiple sources they do the etl process and load data in this data warehousing system and then reports are generated from this data warehousing system or this olap database so this dwh or this data warehouse system is called data mart for the finance department so let's say we have another department which is operational department now they may, might have their own source and let's say the process is same, the processing layer is same. The same Spark code or same Spark job or glue job is doing the processing from these source systems also. But they are storing the data in a different DWH database or a different Redshift cluster or a different Redshift database. This small data warehousing system is called a data mart for the operational department and of course there can be reports generated from this dwh system one thing you have to note is that let's say they are using redshift for both the cases we have one redshift database or a cluster here another redshift database and cluster for operational department now there can be data duplicacy meaning there can be exact same data in both the subset of data warehouses so that's what a data mart is so it's a different data warehouse for different domain different line of business or different subject area it is as simple as that so data mart is a subset of a data warehouse for different line of businesses now if that is a data mart what is a data mesh again let's take a look at the pipeline you have finance department we have source systems, a process, then data warehouse, and then reports. This entire pipeline from source systems to the target data warehouse or report, this entire pipeline is called a data mesh for the finance department. For the same operational department, we might be having a different pipeline with same or different set of source systems, with same or different processing layer, and different data warehousing system and different reports. So this is again another data engineering pipeline. So this entire pipeline is called a data mesh 
for the operational department. So a data mesh is a decentralized data management, which means each line of business will have their entire data pipeline that is completely different than the other business domains. So finance is a business domain, operations is another business domain. So operations team have their own data pipeline and finance teams have their own data pipeline.